There are two main reasons for using the verb call. The first is when trying to contact somebody using a phone or with your voice when a person is in the area that you are in. And the second reason for using call is when naming a thing or a person. What is this called? This question is in the passive voice. Here's the verb be, and then here's the main verb in the form of a past participle. You ask this kind of question when you want to know the name of a thing. For example, what is this called? This is called a flash drive. The question can also be asked this way. What do you call this? The you in this question, this is the subject, is the indefinite you. Any person who knows the name of this can provide the information. What do you call this? Call is a regular verb. Call, called, called. Don't pronounce the E. Don't say call it. It's just one syllable. Called. What do you call this? This is in the present tense. Here's the helping verb, and then here's the main verb in the simple form. What is this called? This is in the passive voice. Here's the verb be, and this is the past participle. Both questions are in the present tense. What is this called? It's called a mister. What do you call this type of bird? It's called a turkey. What is this thing called? I don't know what it's called. When asking either question, what you want is the name of something. So you could say, what is the name, whatever it is in English, what is the name of this thing? But most people will ask the question like this. What do you call this? Or what is this called? It is possible to ask this kind of question for a person. What do people call you by? This is a little awkward. Instead, you could say, what is your name? And then the answer would include the word call. Everyone calls me Paul. This is my name. So if someone asks me, what do people call you by? Sometimes if they're students, they aren't sure if they should call me teacher or Paul or something else. And everyone just calls me Paul. My students call me teacher, which is okay. You can call me teacher, or Paul, or teacher Paul. Use call when trying to contact someone. If it's a phone, you'd say, I called my, and then here's the relationship. We can use the word friend. I called my friend on the phone. But if it's in person, and you can see the person in the distance, then use to. I called to my friend. Don't use this for the phone. Use this when you can actually see the person that you are trying to contact. You could also say, if you want that person to move to you, 
I called, here's the person, let's use a, a man, I called him over. I called him over. That means that I wanted him to come to me and talk to me. When call is used as part of a command, just say, call me, put the object pronoun here. Call me, call them, call him, call her. The subject is you, but remember that in a command, you don't use the subject, just use the, the verb, call. The word call is often used in the classroom. The teacher called on the student. The teacher asked the student to provide an answer. Sometimes when the teacher calls on the student, it's by surprise. The student doesn't expect it to happen. Or if you want to be called on, to be called on, by the teacher, you raise your hand. To be called on, you raise your hand. When a student wants attention, then he or she does this, and then the teacher calls on the student. This is in the passive voice. It's the infinitive to be called. And then we have to use the preposition on.